This will disguise their true black identity. A few years back, I had a co-worker that was from Egypt that spoke French. After doing some research, I discovered that French is like a second language of Arabic for most modern day Egyptians. How is it that we see these people in the land of day as Egyptians when the ancient Egyptians showed themselves much darker on the walls of Egypt? There is a reason for this. In the days of Napoleon, Egypt was an Islamic country ruled by Arabs. When Napoleon conquered Egypt, he was shocked to see strong African features on the giant Egyptian statues. Count Constantine de Volnay, during a, a trip to Egypt in seven, from eight, 1783 to 1785, said this, and I quote, He says, on seeing that head, what head? The Sphinx of Giza. Typically Negro in all its features, I remembered the remarkable passage of Herodotus. The ancient Egyptians were true Negroes of the same type as all native-born Africans. Now, I, I, I want to ask this question. What would motivate him to say this phrase, typically Negro in all its features? Could it be perhaps this? This was a, an artist's conception, uh, Bibak Dinan, who accompanied Napoleon's army, 1798. This is his artist's conception of the Sphinx of Giza. Before what happened? Before the lips and the nose were shot off by Napoleon's troops. That is verifiable because Dion was an eyewitness to those lips and nose, nose that li the lips and noses, nose being shot off by the soldiers. Why did they do it? We cannot climb into their hearts in the 21st century and figure this out. Divine angel is a fraud and try to figure out why they did it. That's between them and, and God. But what happened, happened. And uh, so when you look at this, you know that there, this definitely was patterned after an African man, uh, regardless of who uh, the identity of that man was. What was it about the nose and the lips that caused the French to destroy the statues? Just look at the number of statues with the nose removed. The noses and the lips told a story about these people. A story that the Europeans did not want to hear. A story about a great civilization of black people that once ruled the world. What did the ancient Egyptians look like? Their women wore braids. What people on earth to this day are known for wearing braids? Braid salons today are a multi-million dollar business and the majority of their customers are black women. Some of these braided hairstyles are identical to the styles women wore in the days of the early Egyptians. Even some of the men's hairstyles are similar. And I doubt if I've ever seen any Caucasians wearing any of these hairstyles. Yes, when reporting ancient African history, reverse the standard. No matter how dark the skin, woolly the hair, or thick the lips, you don't have to be a Negro. refuse to publish any facts of African history that don't go along with our racial theories. 